Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a king pig house from Angry Birds. If you enjoyed this video please do remember to give it a like, it is going to be the last Angry Birds related build that I make for quite a while. So if you have enjoyed these please give this video a like and also you might want to check out some of my other previous Angry Bird builds that I've been doing over these past couple of weeks. We have the Red Angry Bird house. We have the Chuck Angry Bird House, he's right in front of us, and we have the Bomb Angry Bird House on the left. You can find tutorials for each one of those, both in the card system and the description below, and they will also flash on the screen, and you can click them as an annotation as I say them. That's the Red Angry Bird House, that's the Chuck Angry Bird House, and the Bomb Angry Bird House. But, without any further ado, let's make the king pig house so we're going to need some lime green wool for this we'll also need some green wool we'll also want black wool then grab yourself some block of quartz we'll want to grab some lapis lazuli also block of gold we will also want some yellow stained clay, and finally, I do believe this is the last thing we'll need, we'll need some quartz stairs. So, once you have each one of those materials right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I want to make him at the end of the row of my Angry Birds, you're going to want to kick off your King Pig with a single lime green wool on the floor, like that. You then want to take that lime green wool and do an up left diagonal from it. Then go left by one. Then do three up left diagonals. That's one, two, three. Go up on top of that third up left diagonal by six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do three up right diagonals. That's one, two, three. Go right that third up right diagonal by one. Do an up right diagonal and go right by 8, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then do a bottom right diagonal, go right of it by 1, and then do 3 bottom right diagonals, that's 1, 2, and 3. Go down from that third bottom right diagonal by 6, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then do 3 bottom left diagonals, that's 1, 2, and this will be 3. Go left of that third bottom left diagonal by one. Do a bottom left diagonal to connect to the ground and then go left of it until you connect all the way back to where you first started. And you'll want to end up with a shape that should look roughly like a watermelon. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So what we now want to do, inside of our watermelon shape, one block inside of it, yet one block outwards, like this, so inside of the shape, yet one block outwards, we want to have another kind of like oval watermelon-ishy shape kind of placed inside of the watermelon shape that we had, and we just want to bring it one row outwards. So it doesn't want to connect at the corners, it just wants to trace along the inside of the shape that we've just made. If you've made any of the other Angry Bird houses, you'll be very familiar with how to do this. So you just want to end up with something that should look a little bit like that. Once you've done that once, we actually want to do the exact same thing one more time. So. One row inwards, yet one row outwards, we want to have another layer of green wool. And that's lime green wool, of course. We don't want to be messing with the dark green wool just yet, although we're going to very, very soon. This house isn't very complex. It's actually quite simple. So we're going to just finish off this second layer. This is the second layer that we've done this to. And then we can start messing with the facial features. We can make the pig a little bit more interesting. And you know what will make it easier, in fact, is if you actually fill in the outer shape that's left. So if you fill in this second layer of lime green wool in with your lime green, uh, it's just going to make things easier for us down the road. And then we can put in like the mouth and then we can add like the snout and his eyes and his eyebrows and all of those facial features that are going to make him look just a little bit creepy. Just the right amount of creepy. But he is kind of really cool as well. I think this is my favourite Angry Birds build that I've ever done. So we want to have something which does look very akin to a watermelon. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, come down to the very bottom of your watermelon shape. You want to take the five centre blocks underneath this bottom outward row of green, which 
you can find by coming in by two from either side and you can one, two, three, four, five, take those five center blocks and you just want to extend them down each by one like that. Destroy the row of five directly above that row of five like this. You then want to destroy the row of seven above that row of five. So you just want to add one on to each end and destroy the row of seven directly above it. You then want to do an up left diagonal from each corner block of that row of seven, like this, do an up left diagonal. You then want to knock out the two blocks to the right, one, two. Go to the right hand side, do an up right diagonal, knock out the two blocks coming into the left, like so. Take out your block of quartz. You want to place, starting from the upper left hand empty space left here, you want to place a block of quartz in this position and in the opposite position on this side, like this. You also want to place a block of quartz in this position and this position. So basically, in the center of those two rows of three on the left and right, and you also want to place a quartz block on underneath the middle three block and on, on underneath each end of the middle three blocks, like that. Once you've got that taken care of, what we can now do is just come to the inside of your king pig, and you want to place a row of dark green wool that kind of just like backs the open mouth. So what we want to have is we want to have an effect that when we look at our pig, it should look a little bit like that, and that's a very, very creepy looking grin, isn't it? Well, we're going to make it look a little bit softer now because we're going to add the snout. So, starting from this row of three that we have right in the center of the mouth, this row of three lime green wool, we want to extend out this row of three by one row with our lime green like this. We then want to take this left hand block and do two upper left diagonals from it. That's one, two, coming out in front of the pig. We then want to come up by two, one, two. Do two upper right diagonals, one, two. Right by two, one, two. Two bottom right diagonals, one, two. Come down by two, one, two. Do a bottom left diagonal like this. What we then want to do is take this left hand center block, this lime green wool block, and go right of it by two with your dark green, one, two. Come down by one. Starting from the center block on the right hand side, we want to go left of this center lime green wool by two of the dark green, go down by one. We then want to take our lime green wool, extend the snout out by one additional layer of lime green. So take the snout, extend it out by one additional layer of lime green wool like this. And what we then want to do is we just want to fill in the end of this snout, but we don't want to cover up the areas that we have placed dark green wool in. So you want to end up with an effect that should look like this. And you see, now the mouth looks just a little bit less creepy. Well, once you've got that taken care of, we can now place the eyes. So the eyes are quite easy. If you come to the middle top left hand side of the snout, and can you see where we have this row of three here? You can see it on the left. Well, we take this top block and we go left of it and placing onto the face of the ang of the pig, we want to place a, uh, a quartz block going left, black wall, quartz. Place a quartz above and below that black wall and then place quartz stairs in the appropriate positions that you would have to place them. And this is a little bit difficult, guys, to be completely honest with you. You've got to get the right angle because... Okay, okay, so I'm just going to destroy those blocks to place this. And you just want to place quartz stairs blocks in the appropriate positions to turn that eye into a bit more of a circular shape like this. Above the eye, you want to... Above this center quartz, leave a gap of one, place a dark green wall, do a bottom left diagonal, bottom right diagonal from that dark green, and that will form the eyebrow. That's the left eye. Come to the right hand side to make the right eye. So once again, we want to starting from the upper right hand side of the center part of the snout and going right of this block, we want to place a quartz, followed by a black, followed by a quartz. Place a block of quartz above and below that black wall, and then place your quartz stairs in all of the appropriate positions. And maybe this time it won't give me so much trouble, I'd really like that. No, you know what, I'm not even going to bother with it, I'm going to place that there. And then I can just replace it with the lime green wall. Now, with the dark green wall, we just want to, of course, leave that gap of one from the top quartz, place a dark green, bottom left diagonal, bottom right diagonal, and we'll end up with both of the eyes. And that gives us our angry pig. Or, for the most part, 
our angry pig. Now, once you've got that taken care of, it's now time for us to make the rest of the head and all of the other features of the head. So, to make this, it's quite simple. We want to come to the back of the pig, and we want to take each one of the blocks that we have here at the back of the pig, the watermelon shape as it is, and we want to extend each one of these blocks back by five. That's one, two, three, four, five. We want to take every single one of these blocks, extend them back by five, and this will make the width of our pig. So this is going to be basically most of the living space inside of the pig because of course this is meant to be turned into a house it's not exactly what i'd call like a spacious house per se but it is quite a cool thing to kind of stumble across like you first of all find the statue and you're inspecting the statue a little bit and it's like hey you can actually go inside this thing and you can actually add an interior to it that's what these houses are meant to be like that's what that's kind of what these uh, these Angry Birds statues are supposed to be. They're not supposed to be like full-on proper survival houses. They're just supposed to be really, really cool houses that you just kind of find in a world and you're having a look at them and you just notice something different and you go inside and you find something special. So we're currently extending each one of these blocks back each by five. There's nothing too interesting about this. And uh, you know what? We actually... No, no we will. What I was going to say was we'll extend these blocks back and then we'll focus on the features of the pig. But I think we'll make the entire shape of our Mr. Angry Pig and then we will, uh, then we'll, uh, then we'll take care of like the crown and his ears, which are the only two things left after we've actually made him. So after we've made this like rugby ball slash American football shaped pig uh, then we'll add the features so that's what you want to have you want to extend each one of these blocks backwards by five then we want to add those two layers of green that are inside and outside of the shape of the pig so you just want to like we did on the front add that layer of lime green wool that is one row inwards yet one row outwards from the previous layer of lime green wool you guys know what to do we have to do this twice in total and with the second layer of lime green wool we are going to uh, completely fill it in so that's the first layer we've made it a little bit smaller just to give it a bit of a shape and then we're going to take this second layer and once we've actually made the second layer because of course we we have to do it first once we've made this second layer we can then uh, just fill it in and it's going to look quite good so let me just complete this boom uh, going to drag this all the way over to the right and going to you guys know how this is going to work and then we've got to fill it in it's going to be a little bit boring but uh, you know whatever that's that's what you have to do if you want to make this house it's still not a very long house to make it uh, I doubt that this thing takes you any more than 20 minutes if you don't include the interior because the interior might take uh, might take a couple of minutes to do the interior depending on how you want it I have a pretty cool one laid out I'll be showing you that at the end of the video I'm not going to show you how to do the inside of the pig but I will show you what I have planned out for mine or what I have made for mine I should say because I'll be showing you the original version so that is the Back of the pig, very, very simple. It's just two layers of green that have been shrunk inwards and outwards, and you have literally a watermelon shape. Let's talk about the features of our Mr. Pig. So, come up to the front, top, left-hand side of the pig, and you want to find it like this. So, can you see where we have this row of two very near the top left-hand side front of the pig? Well, we want to move inwards by one row, so we're on the second row, and we want to go left of this outward block by one with your lime green, do an up left diagonal, go up by one, do an up right diagonal, right by one, do a bottom right diagonal and connect it all the way down to the pig's head. Fill in that area with dark green wool, like that, easy. We then want to, moving across the head and two rows away, or leaving a gap of two more appropriately, leaving a gap of two between this ear, you want to, so leaving your gap of two, place a lime green wool coming out of the head, you then want to do an up left diagonal, go up by one, do an up right diagonal, right by one, bottom right diagonal, down by one, connect back down to the head. Fill that in with dark green wool. And there you have your angry pig's two ears. They kind of look a little bit weird all by themselves. This is where we need the crown. So the crown's actually quite easy. Leaving a gap of two between this ear and where we're going to make the crown, so gap of two, we want to place a yellow stained clay block, 
And on top of that, a Lapis Lazuli. On top of that, three yellow stained clay. That's one, two, three. We then want to do a bottom right diagonal with the clay, an upright diagonal with the clay, bottom right diagonal with the clay. We want to go right one, up one, and then down and until you connect all the way down to the head like this. What we then want to do is we want to, from that block that connects down, we want to do like an inward diagonal with the yellow stained clay. We then want to destroy the two blocks to the left, replace them with yellow stained clay. Can you see where we have this Lapis Lazuli block here in the row of yellow stained clay? Well, we were actually supposed to build this into the opposite side, so destroy this yellow stained clay block, place the Lapis Lazuli. On top of this row of free yellow stained clay, we want to stack a row of free block of gold. Place a Lapis Lazuli on top of that center block of gold, and then fill in the rest of the space left from the part of the crown that is behind with your block of gold. So can you see what I'm talking about? We want to have that filled in with block of gold. Not only do you want to do this on the front of your pig, but you also want to come to the back part of the pig and you want to have a very, very similar thing. So we'll have yellow stained clay here and then we can just fill in this with gold, Lapis Lazuli, and then we can fill in the rest of gold just making the crown. Very, very simple. That is your King Angry Pig. He has his crown. He has his ears, he has his snout, he has his eyes, his eyebrows, his mouth. What more do you want? He looks roughly like a watermelon. Here he is. This is the statue actually 100% fully complete. This is like the statue of the pig. If you want to design your own interior, you can. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but what I will show you is the original version of this where I have tampered with the inside of it. I'll be back in a second to show you. So this is the original version of the pig. How do you actually get inside of it, you might be wondering to yourself. Well, if you come all the way to the back of the pig, you'll notice that we have an entrance. You can make this out of materials that are a bit more grander than this, a bit easier to recognize, but I like these houses to kind of be a little bit concealed. So we do have a little bit of red carpet here, and as you enter, the first thing that you'll see is that we have a nice little water feature with a bit of light. On the left and right hand side, we just have some birch wood stairs and a couple of entrances, a couple of staircases I should say. It's kind of nice in here. You can walk up either of these and it takes you to the main living space of the pig. And what we have up here, we have a couple of bookcases, we have the usual utilities, we have some light, we have a lot of light up here actually. We have loads of light, we have a lot of glowstone and we have a couple of sea lanterns. We have a couple of seating areas, you can actually look down onto the water feature and you walk around here to keep it nice and light because we want this entire place to be quite light we have a lot of glass um, the bed surrounded by two bookcases is a little bit of a mini crown with a bed built into it and it's just a very very simple very cool looking little mini house inside here it's not supposed to be a survival house exactly but it is a very very cool whoops it is a very very cool thing to just find in the middle of a statue Something that you think is a statue can very easily be turned into a house, and I absolutely love this thing. There's going to be no tutorial for the inside of this because I'm sure that you guys don't need it, and I'm sure that you can come up with a design that is much more interesting than this one. Let's hop back to the original version of the pig and we can say our goodbyes. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like, give it a favorite, give it a share. I'd really, really appreciate it. I honestly would. I made him because you guys really, really wanted to see a pig house. I asked you guys what you wanted to see. I made them in the order that you guys requested them. First I made Red, then Chuck, then Bum, and then we have our King Pig. I have four houses in total. If you want to check any of those out, remember they're all in the card system, and they'll be in the description below as well. Comment, comment down below, what do you want to see next? I'm probably not going to be doing any more Angry Birds related builds for quite a while because I think that I've exhausted them. I don't really want to build any more, despite the fact that I think that the King Pig is an excellent house. I think that we've probably made enough of them for now. Check out the card system, check out the description below, comment down below, let me know what you want to see, as long as it isn't angry, but as you can request it, maybe I'll even build it, but I probably won't, honestly. Like, favorite, share if you wouldn't mind, do all of those things that I've just said, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.